Hello and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I am playing some Zeno Saga. I think- oh, no, it's not that one. Oh, right, because I have to leave in the ESs, don't I? Which I think is this one, because this goes to the hangar. Yes. Okay. I mean, I could have explored the ship, but the side questy stuff is stuff I tend to do off screen in my own time or sometimes while streaming, so. Oh, right, who do I have in each one? Okay, we got Cosmos and Shion and Dinah. Chaos and Junior and Asher. Zebl Zebloon has those two. Okay, this is fine. And as usual, Jin is on his own. <laughs> Poor Jin. I generally keep the default settings for who's in the ES. So sometimes I'll switch it around because it can change some of the attacks that you have available to you. But when consecutive attacks hit, a bonus is applied to damage and accuracy is called a chain. Uh, low accuracy hit enemies with high evasion by using chains. In the middle of consecutive input. Which is in is called a team combo. And uh, during anima awakening. Okay. Cool. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. I yeah. <laughs> Let's make a boom! No, I said boom! Boom it, damn it! <laughs> I was right in front of it. It shouldn't have taken me three hits to make a go boom. But it did! I have such a love hate relationship for when the chateau is a dungeon. Because. I mean. It's sort of spoilers, so I'm not gonna go too much into it, but let's just say you're going to be stuck on Renlu Chateau and the other dungeon in Renlu Chateau, sort of, for literally half of the entire game, and it does tend to drag on a little bit. You're just like, can I go do something else now? <laughs> but no, you get stuck there. And it's just, thankfully, I don't remember the cutscene front loading getting as bad as it is in the beginning of the game but there are some sections in the dungeon after this one that's still technically on Rin the Chateau that man do they get cutscene heavy <laughs> holy crap are they cutscene heavy but still I don't feel like as bad as in the beginning however that may just be my nostalgia talking because I have not again seen this game and played this game myself since high school. <laughs> so this could be good. This could be bad. I don't know. The cutscenes are fine. But they can be a little draining to commentate over because if you guys noticed um, the earlier episodes of Sunnyshawk, I didn't uh, have to cut so much out. Which cool in one hand is good, but on episodes like this, when I'm do when I can cut a lot of things out because it's a lot of fights that I'm not going to be commentating over, it's much easier for me to record episode after episode after episode because then I'm just I can chill. I could spend like five ten minutes just playing the game, doing some get doing some fights, and I don't have to figure out something funny to say because <laughs> I'm in a random fight. Nobody gives a fuck. Well, I mean, they're not random fights, but you know what I mean. So again, love-hate relationship. Love the cutscenes, love the story, love how ridiculous and convoluted it is, and, but... What's that? It's a girly crystal. That's a geo crystal. It seems like we can't destroy it, even with the power of the ESs. Yet. Yet. Hi. Is there anything over here? No? No. 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 Okay, bye bye <laughs> Yeah, I think the geocrystal stuff is shit for later. Oh shit, hi. Oh! But I can push this. <laughs> so if we hit the crystal, then we can destroy it. Cool. Good to know. So you just have to find... Let me alone. Let me alone! Damn it, I was hoping I was gonna get in the back. Oh well. Oh, we got a save point! Can't do that though. 
There's Geocrystal over there too! It looks difficult to knock this ore down. Yeah, and if we did, it'd block our path. We'll have to hit it with another ore and destroy- Obviously! <laughs> you silly bastard! Do, 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 do. Well, hopefully nothing bad will happen in this room. Yet. <laughs> There's bad shit in every room. Is there anything over here? Okay. Let's take the middle one. Because that looks like something I can break. Don't know where it goes, but I'ma do it. Okay. Now leave me alone. Leave me alone! <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I want. I want to get to the end of the. Ooh. segment address oh that's the one it's all the way all the way at the bottom I could probably boop this guy in the butt come here patch okay it is a back attack I was about to say wait a minute <laughs> well hi there now we're going to the left damn it <laughs> and then I got attacked from behind I should have just gone straight at him instead of trying to go past him that's 99% of the time that's when I get attacked from behind as an e both as an ES and when I'm not in an ES is when I'm like, I think I can get past them. Spoiler alert, I cannot get past them. <laughs> oh well. Guess I just have to murder them with extreme prejudice. Good thing the ESs are overpowered as all hell. Unless you're in a boss fight. Because some of the ES boss fights are really hard. <laughs> like, really hard, from what I remember. But the random fights with ESs tend to be pretty damn easy. At least compared to how the Mook fights without the ESs can be. Like, you can get an ES Mook battle over maybe one sometimes two, one or two rounds tops. And out of ES mook battle? Ah, it's gonna take a good few tries, dude. I, 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 I. <laughs> open the, open the thing, damn it. Okay. D -v -d -b -d -b -d -d. What's that? It's a da ba da da ba da da ha ba da ba 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 da ba ha ba da ba What? Who does that go to? Oh, it goes to you. <laughs> cool. More health for Dina! Or I guess Dina. It's kind of funny, that's the name of my roommate's cat. My roommate has five cats. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the kittens. So you would have seen at least three of them, three of the recent ones most recently, but one of them, Dina. Like, you know, this ES here. Um, my roommate is not a gamer, she's not a fan of Xenosaga, that's not why the cat's name is Dinah. Um, but, yeah. There's kitties. There's kitties on my Instagram, we should follow my Instagram. There's lots of kitties. I like kitties. Even though they're my roommate's kitties. And she has five of them. The oldest one is Octavia, and Octavia is completely neurotic. Like, most of the people who come into this house are not convinced this cat exists. I've been here for like five years and this cat is still terrified and runs if they even smell me. And never leaves from hiding under my roommate's bed, pretty much. Then there's Dinah, that my roommate got about a year ago. She had other cats when I first moved in, but my roommate and landlady is an old lady. Cats died. She had four when I moved in, she had one about a year ago. She got a new cat, Dinah, and she just got three kittens. 
at the same time. Three kittens. I have tripped over so many cats in the last month <laughs> because this house now has five cats, three of which are barely a couple months old, my two rabbits, and my two chinchillas. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fuzzy cuteness, but at the same time, it's a lot of me tripping over animals. <laughs> I try not to, and I mean, I'm being stared at by my rabbits right now. But I'm pretty sure my rabbits and the kittens have tried to kill me. On purpose. On purpose. I have- I live with murderous animals. Nine murderous animals. One of which most people are convinced does not exist. <sighs> uh, I mean... Cats are just soulless, murderous creatures anyway, so. I love cats, I can say that. <laughs> oh shit, hi, how you doing? No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. Ah, you tried to get me, game. You tried. You tried so hard, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I'm a, I'm a fucking nerd. Fuck! Tits! Well, it was on that one. I'm pretty sure we have to go by there to go onwards. So I, that's why I haven't gone to get that segment address and the item there because I might as well go down and get that when I go down there to the save point. And it would be kind of useless to go get the segment address and that item now when I would just have to come back up here. Again, I can't entirely remember. Again, I haven't played this game since high school. But I believe that that pathway is what takes us to the boss fight. I can't remember if there's an ES boss fight. I know- I definitely know that there is a pretty important boss fight when you're on foot. But I can't remember if there's actually a boss fight in this area on ESs. I mean, I could just look it up. I have the strategy guide. Maybe I'll show it to you guys in one episode. I have the physical, old school, Brady game strategy guide for this game. And for Xenosaga 1, not for Xenosaga 2, I just have the ones for Xenosaga 1 and 3. Of course it's the one on top. Of course. It's always the one on top. Target successfully destroyed. We can now proceed. Good job, Cosmos. Let's go back down. Uh, oh, it does it automatically. I eat. Okay, here we go. And I go this way instead, because fuck your progression. I have items to get. Doom, doom, doom. It is kind of weird how respawning works. Sometimes enemies respawn, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you have to... It's more of a problem when you're trying to grind with the EVS plates. Not the first time you're going through the dungeon because it's designed to make backtracking easier, which I like. But then you'll have to load and reload the EVS plate if you're trying to grind for something. <laughs> Because you have to reload all of the dudes that don't respawn. Rough Geocrystal. Cool. Yes. I got a segment address. I can't open it. <laughs> okay. Let's go onwards. And can, can I juke past him? 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 Goodbye! <laughs> I used to make a game of it when I was in high school and middle school originally playing this series of attempting to juke past th this looks like a boss fight room. Um, of attempting to like juke around things just to see if I could. Uh oh! Cutscene! Whoa! Where are we? Don't worry about it. It looks like a cave. 
A very wide one. Um, is that Hebrew? No, maybe it's ancient Aramaic. How can you tell, Junior? Hold the great... I don't know, I can't read it. <laughs> and behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Wow, you can read it? No, I recognize it. What? They're exactly the same words that I've seen before. It was recorded and stored in Daddy's Y data. Ms. Rahis? Uh-oh! Look out! Boss fight! <laughs> Good thing I saved. Alright, hey, who's it gonna be? What do you think you're doing? Don't you know it's rude to come into someone's home on the- Hi, Blue Testament! Testament. I mean Virgil. <clears throat> I mean, what? You! <laughs> you were in the Song of Nephilim! Oh, so you remember me. Well, isn't that nice? I find that rather interesting. You see, I remember you, too. I remember that you let me die. Excuse you. <gasps> but... Lieutenant Virgil? Yep! How? Now, don't get all sentimental on me. It's not like I've been hiding out here in this dump all this time just so the two of us can talk about old memories. Hardly. No, I've got business to attend to with your crap. Boss fight against Virgil! Oh. Rude! Die. All your self righteous crap makes me sick. It kind of looks like they used the Xenosaga 2. It kind of looks like they used the Xenosaga 2. It's already started. Um, Wait, what's going on? Or Xenosaga 1 <laughs> character facial <laughs> model for Virgil. <laughs> they just reused it. Oh, whoops. And you're still compelled to ride them now, huh? <laughs> Now that really is funny. What are you talking about? Dun dun dun! Quite simple. That is the kind of place this is to those vessels of anima that you're using. That are the power source of the ES craft. The vessels of anima? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. You're not very bright now, are you? You're the one being cryptic, Virgil! Using your heads a little for once! No, I think it's just the face. It looks like they're using the same model as Enosago 1 for Virgil. <laughs> I know they're not, but he looks like he has much bigger eyes than he should for, like, the new way they're doing the models, sort of. In this battle, the anime gauge will increase or decrease on that each turn. Cool. So, let's use it. Yeah, these are sort of, like, limit break things. It's complicated. And that's how you use their special attacks. By uh, activating the Vessel of Anima, there are three levels eventually. Um, I can't remember how you activate, get the higher levels. You get them at some point. Through some means. <laughs> I can't remember how. But, yeah. Everybody gets super special attacks. <laughs> Rude! Leave me alone, Virgil! <laughs> oh, and also you have more of the EN stuff, so you can do more attacks each turn. So if I wanted to, I could do three missiles instead of, like, two. And also, when you have the Vessels of Anima activated, enemy you're more likely to trigger co-ops and ambushes. Ambushes is when all three of them attack at once, co-ops is when, they, when two of them attack at once. And I think you're more likely to trigger a cop or an ambush if you do more attacks than if you maybe do like the best attack. I think. I can't remember. <laughs> you love what, Virgil? But we don't hate you, you're just a dick. <laughs> uh oh. That's very rude of you. That's very rude of you, Virgil. <laughs> I kinda need Dinah. <laughs> I think the only one who can use 
Aether in the ES, at least in the second game, I think it's true in this one, is Zebulun. Um, I think. <laughs> yeah, and I don't remember shit. Turn into your anima and shoot it. <laughs> I mean, this is still sort of partial tutorializing because it's trying to get you to use the vessel of anima for the first time or whatever. Oh no, I can't. Okay, so they took that ability away. Um, in Xenosaga 2, you could use Ether only in Zebulun with Momo. Don't tell me what to do, Virgil! You're supposed to be dead! You got hella murdered by Cosmos. Hella murdered! <laughs> like, it is impossible impossible to be more murdered than he was murdered by Cosmos. Yes, he was murdered by Cosmos. Go back and watch my Senosaga 1 Let's Play. It's a very old Let's Play. Very unprofessional. Um, but Virgil gets killed very early on in Senosaga 1. He gets shot by Cosmos because he runs forward to try to attack the Gnosis that's attacking Shion, being very doom being very ridiculous about it. And Cosmos is just like, you're taking too long, and shoots through him. <laughs> Because he's an asshole. And she's also an asshole. Everybody's are assholes. Oh, did I do it? You think you've won? Yes. Your attacks have no effect on me. Excuse me? But judging from the fact that I have a results screen and a clear time and I'm getting experience, pretty sure I just kicked your ass, Virgil. <laughs> so. Bye. For now, I guess. It's not dead yet. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I guess there's just too many of you. I mean, there is only one of you. You died. You're supposed to be dead. So how? How did I get here? Is that your question? Yes. <laughs> am I alive or am I dead? Why not both? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. That isn't even important. Then again. It's not something that I would expect you to be able to understand. Oh, please. Enough babbling nonsense. <gasps> Partner. Everyone should know that voice. Everyone should know that voice. It's another testament. It's a white testament with a very What's this? specific voice. Is the new kid coming to crash the party? The time has come. Or what? Were you planning on staying here forever? That voice. Yep, Ju Junior knows it. Albedo? Junior knows it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Why are you leaving? Albedo, it's you, isn't Why are you leaving the ES? You about me? Why are you leaving the ES? <laughs> That's a very important thing. Okay, good. They are taking it. Oh no, they're just taking the vessel of Anima. Okay. I eat. Yeah, that's the Vessel of Anima, the power source of their mechs. Totally uh, fine. Vessel of Anima? Why? You mean you pilot ESs as well? Obviously! <laughs> okay, bye! That's gonna end well. What? what the hell? Damn! The ES isn't responding! Neither is mine. The energy gain is dropping. It's going to shut down. Output's still dropping. It's no good. Unable to sustain current levels. Then get out of the fucking mech. That's what I tried to tell you. Like I said before, that's the kind of place this is. Oh well, good luck figuring it out. I mean, it's pretty simple. They're in a place that the vessels of Anima don't really work in. That's literally it. <laughs> so they have to continue on foot. And that's the excuse for having a section of this place on foot! <laughs> Damn it. We'll have to walk the rest of the way. What did Lieutenant Virgil mean by 
that's what kind of place this is. Again, it's pretty obvious. I already explained it to the audience, Shion. Just, you know, catch up. I expect the answer to that question lies ahead. I... I am Cosmos again! Heyo! Is this the shop plate, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So that's what we got. That's what we got. I got a lot of money. I should probably buy some shit. I'm gonna do that. Actually, it's about time for me to end the video. So, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it's about time for me to end the video. I'll do my shopping between this video and the next. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.